Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be covering all of the details for the brand new Max Raid event that is running over this coming weekend. So we're currently in January, we are in the midst of the January Max Raids, but today is a special day because normally mid-month what they do is they change the dens and create a special event where we've got an opportunity to get a shiny, and that's what we're going to be covering in today's episode, and it's based all around the channel. Chinese New Year that will be coming on the 12th of February I believe which is going to be the year of the ox so it's very fitting so we are in the game right now we'll come back to this in a minute we'll jump over to Cerebi because we can see right now we've got the max raid event den that is running for January that I was just referring to you've got Gigantamax, Duraladon, and Gigantamax, Snorlax, they're the two big ones in the den this month. But if we hop over to the event for today at our trusty source at Cerebi, the link will be down in the description as well. You can see this weekend's special max raid event den that will be running from January the 22nd, which is today, until January the 24th which will be Sunday and that is normally around midnight um, respectively where your time zone is when that event will end and it will revert back to the January den uh, with the GMAX Duraludon and GMAX Snorlax until the end of the month on the 1st of February when we'll get a new update and new Pokemon will spawn in the special event den so you can see we'll just cover as we normally do uh, what we've got today so the the one star raids uh, Taurus, Bufalent and Miltank so it's going to be a common theme throughout. There you want star raids. There's no real special items that you're going to be getting here. Just your generic ones, your Dynamax candies um, and other bits. Um, and then again, the two stars are exactly the same. Three stars are exactly the same. Four stars are exactly the same. You are getting different items for the different level of stars. And uh, for anyone new to the dens, obviously, the collecting the gym badge is where you get the access to the higher ranked dens. So if you've got all eight gym badges, you're going to have access to four, five star raids. If you've got very few gym badges, you're probably only going to have one or two if you're at the beginning of your game. So you can, you can work that out. So they're the four star, but getting down to the five star raids is where this den starts to get very interesting so we've got the Kanto Taurus here um, and you can catch that at 32% spawn rate and then next to it you can see we've got another Kanto Taurus and this is going to be the shiny exclusive square shiny Pokemon for this den which has a 2% chance which is the normal rate for these shiny spawning in these events uh, but you're going to be able to get this nice kind of puke green kind of color Taurus or off green color Taurus probably offended a few of you out there so I do apologize but um yeah this nice shiny Taurus a square shiny as well which is really nice uh, one of the rarer shiny variants is available but it is going to be difficult to get two percent chance and then you've got the Bufalant and the Miltant making up the rest of it items again aren't very spectacular this is for Pokemon Sword and as you can imagine the event is exactly the same for Pokemon Sword as Pokemon Shield there is no variations between games so you're going to have the same opportunity to catch the same Pokemon same star rating in the dens throughout Sword and Shield so these are what you're going to have access to this weekend I know a lot of you probably are big fans of some of these Pokemon here so it's a nice opportunity to catch them especially the Milk Tank the Bufalant and uh, definitely this Taurus is going to be what everyone is going for so let's jump back over into our game and once we're here so i'm in drappled grove which i'll show you on the map where it is for anyone new um right here in the wild area in the galar galar area the main game uh there are two dens next to each other i just find this very easy to run between these dens drop a wishing piece until i get the uh, the den the uh, the event den they'll always be in a red den you can see i've got a cinchino here it is part of the january den um so what we need to do to update the game to allow us to get the um the event dens this weekend just come into your menu screen your mystery gift and then come down to get wild area news i know we've been around this barbecue a few times before but it's always good for those new people coming into sword and shield so they understand you'll connect to the internet it'll do the update and you'll get this sign and then once you come back into the den eventually when the game decides it wants to load 
you should see there we go we've got the event den for this weekend so there's a mill tank right now once you've got this den the idea is probably if you're hunting like a lot, lot of you will be the shiny taurus what you want to do is use the date skip glitch to try and just cycle through this den until you get to that five star taurus because the five star taurus is the only one that can be shiny so they're the ones you want to be going for so We'll go through it again just for those new people don't need to be actually online for this so i'm just going to quit out of this for a minute so just make sure that you're um you're offline when you're coming into this we are uh you hit invite others once you're in the den then you hit your home menu you come down to your system settings down to system down to date and time make sure your synchronized clock is off via the internet so this one's off come down to your date and time skip forward one day click ok uh, come back into the game quit out of the den and this will trick the game to think 24 hours have passed it'll take you to the next frame in the den and there you go the pokemon changes so you can go through the den like this until you get to that five star taurus i'll just quickly show you once again this is a nice easy way to do it and it is a bit of a grind i will say that you know the past events where we've had um pikachu we've had whale lord other things like that very difficult to kind of grind and um it just takes a little bit of patience just going from five star taurus to five star taurus uh what you can do is see there's a three star there what you can do when you get to the five star taurus is just save in front of the den um check the den see if it's shiny if it's not restart the game come back into it and then just start uh skipping to the next taurus uh that is five star and then just repeat that process of saving going into the den and checking it and then uh, if it is so there we go you see so i can just explain to you now We've got a five-star Taurus. What we want to do is just save our game. Just make making sure, just making sure. So if it's not a shiny, we can just reset and come back and start the, the process again. And um, we're not going to invite others to this one. We're just checking the den. We've saved it. We're all good. Fingers crossed it is the shiny. That would be an amazing start to the day, honestly. But uh, it doesn't often happen when I'm doing the videos. So I'm not too sure. Nah, no chance here. That 2% is too too low for us in this one but that wraps up the uh, the update for us that's all the information i don't think there's very too much more to explain i've kind of done the date skip glitch to show you how you can get through and uh, maybe find this taurus a little bit easier but it's a nice event to celebrate the chinese new year like i say that will be coming into effect on the 12th of february so not too long away it's a very exciting time especially in the pokemon universe as well we've got lots going on for the 25th anniversary and we'll have lots more videos to come with this obviously we'll have our next den update on the 1st of february so do stay tuned for that and uh, anyone hunting this taurus over the weekend i wish you all the best luck in sh catching the shiny and if you do manage to get it let me know down in the comment section below i'd love to hear how successful a lot of you will be over this weekend and if you are hunting it or not and also what are you looking forward to for the february den update because we've still got lots of stuff that could come out so it could be exciting but we'll see anyway friends have a great rest of your day i'll catch you all for another episode very soon and until then take care bye bye